Welcome to the Design and Sewing Studio. This is my first lesson for 2022. So I want to share some basic information with you guys so you can DIY, do it yourself. Late last year, I did a lesson on how to calculate for how much carpet you need for your space. But then how do you buy carpet or even start calculating carpet? Um, requirement when you don't know much about carpets as I want to enlighten you about carpets and I have a list of topics that I will be covering in the lessons with that being said let's look at some of the topics that we will be covering in this series all about carpets and how you choose the right carpet for your space the first thing we'll do is an introduction. I want to try to fit that introduction in in this video lesson. And so the next time we meet, I will talk about types of carpets. Then in advantages and disadvantages of the different types of carpet. Carpet fibers and durability. We will also be looking at the types of carpet fibers because that will actually influence the du durability of the carpet the factors to consider when purchasing carpets measuring and estimating for carpet carpet care and things to be aware of after your carpet has been installed we look at the maintenance of carpet to extend the life of the carpet because a carpet and its fibers can be very durable, but that durability will be affected by how you maintain the carpet. Let's get started with a definition for carpets. Believe it or not, carpet is defined as a heavy duty tufted or woven fabric that is use as a floor covering so yeah carpet is actually a fabric now i don't like to say floor covering as much as i prefer to say floor treatment because to me floor covering suggests that you're covering up your floor which sometimes you have some old raggedy floors and you that your best option out or your cheapest option out is to use carpet to cover that floor however most times we are looking for a carpet that is used as a grounding element in the space that helps to bring all the other elements together in one composition now talking about composition that is a great segue to our next subheading composition carpets are composed of fibers and those fibers can either be man-made which are the synthetic fibers or they can be natural fibers now there are lots of man-made fibers uh, that are used to make carpets but the two most common ones are polyester and nylon we will look at those um, later on in the series some examples of natural fibers are sisal wool jute and there are lots more too those we will look at again throughout the se the, the series usually it is sold either as a broad loom carpet or as an area carpet broad loom carpet is what we call wall to wall carpet and that you will have to get installed so there it's more expensive to buy broad loom carpet as i mentioned before you could also use area carpet now, if you go into those big box stores, sometimes you will say, and when I say big box stores, I mean like the big wholesalers and retailers that sell home goods, um, lumber and stuff like that. 
so i won't give a name we know what we're talking about here so let's move on if you go into the stores sometimes you can't find area carpets because what happened is when they have leftovers of their carpet roll they will put borders on their leftovers and they will sell them in different sizes as area carpet if you don't want wall-to-wall -wall carpets and you can't find your the size carpet you want from the floor in the big wholesalers then most times they will take a measurement for you for what you need you can go in select the carpet that you want and they can actually trim the edges for you to make you the size area carpet that you desire or that you need for your space so that's your introduction to carpet the definition composition and how they are sold the next lesson i will be covering types of carpets so we will delve into more information that will even be more useful to you. Don't miss it now. If you have already subscribed and you haven't hit that notification button, go ahead and hit the notification button so that when the lessons come out, you will be notified. By the way, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please don't consider it just go ahead man and subscribe because there's a lot here for you to learn and when you subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you can be notified of new videos you take care and i'll see you for the next lesson